dear students today we shall start the first chapter of class 10 physics the reflection and refraction of light so in this chapter first of all we shall see what is light so see what is light we see a lot of objects in our surrounding at daytime and also at night if light is available then we see a lot of objects but suppose suddenly light is off then what happens we are unable to see anything once again if you switch on the circuit then we are able to see objects with the help of this concept we can say that light is a form of energy form of energy which enables us the word is enables that is to make able which enables us to see any object now from very early beginning of class 6 we have started to read different properties of light once again we shall try to recite it so properties of light see what are properties of light properties of light first property which we have seen in class 6 is the rectilinear propagation of light rectilinear propagation of light whole syllabus of light, light chapter in class 6 is based on this property of light that is light always travels in a straight path and we see that if we put any opaque object in the path of light then shadow forms on wall or on a screen second property is the reflection of light the reflection of light in class 7 we see only one property of light that is reflection of light what do you mean by reflection of light if light rays incident at the surface of any object and bounce back in the same medium then this phenomenon is called reflection of light dear students we see a lot of objects and how we see if light incidents on these objects and after reflection or later on we shall see refraction image of these objects form with the help of our eye at retina then retina converts these images into electrical signals and these electrical signals travel to our brain and brain interprets these signals into image so we are able to see different objects so this property is the reflection of light in this chapter we shall read in detail reflection and refraction of light third property of light is refraction of light refraction of light what do you mean by refraction of light in class 8 we have read a lot about refraction of light as we know that the speed of light is maximum in vacuum and it is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second but this speed is in vacuum this speed is not constant everywhere as we know that if rays of light travel from one transparent medium to another transparent medium 
then due to the change in optical density, the speed of light also changes. If rays travel from rarer to denser, then a speed reduces and if rays travel from denser to rarer, then its speed increases. And we see that higher is the optical density, lower is the speed of light and lower is the optical density, higher is the speed of light. So, if rays of light travel from one transparent medium to another, then due to change in optical density, their speed change and with the change in speed, their direction also change. So, this is the property which is called refraction of light. Now, very important, which you have not read and it is given in class 10, the property is diffraction of light. Diffraction. First time, it is introduced diffraction of light. What is diffraction of light? Diffraction of light states that if an opaque object on the path of light becomes very small, light has a tendency to bend around it and not walk in a straight line. This effect is called diffraction of light. Other property which we, which we shall read in this chapter is dispersion of light. This person of light. About this person, we have already read, read in class 8 also. And this property states that if rays of light incident at glass prism or other prism like substances like water droplets, soap bubbles, etc., then white light splits into seven colors. So, a splitting of white light into seven colors is called dispersion of light. And in nature also in rainy season we see a band of seven colors either early in the morning or at the time of evening. This is also related to dispersion of light, natural dispersion of light. Next property is Dear students, if you want to write down the definitions then pause the video and you can write it clearly. I am trying to give different examples related to your day-to-day -day life also. Next property is a scattering of light. A scattering of light. In this chapter, we shall read about a scattering of light also. If teeny opaque objects come in the path of light, then components of white light bounces in different directions but the color of the scattered light depends on the size of the scattering particles very fine particles scatter mainly blue light fine particles of larger size scatter light of longer wavelengths if the size of the scattering particles is large enough then the scattered light may even appear white so all these properties we shall read one by one in this chapter. Due to a scattering of light, many questions are asked that why a sky looks blue. So a sky looks blue due to a scattering of light. We shall read it later on. But at present, I am trying to give you different examples related to your day-to-day -day life. Once again, there are many questions asked that why sun looks red early in the morning and at the time of evening and it looks bright or white at noon there is also a scattering of light because early in the morning and at the time of evening the distance of sun is very much from our surface so due to traveling very long distance maximum components of white light of blue end scatter in atmosphere and mainly red in colors reach to us so sun looks red but at noon the distance between earth and sun is comparatively less and almost all the seven components 
of white light reach to us so sun looks bright or white at noon now there is very important topic given in your ncrt page 160 that is the first page of this chapter that different properties of light like rectilinear propagation reflection refraction these properties of light were well explained on the basis of wave theory of light but when photoelectric effect came into action then scientists were surprised to explain whether light is wave or particle but after the development of quantum theory now it is considered that light has both property that is light has dual property it consists of particles and it propagate in the form of waves so we can easily say at present that light has dual property now one by one we shall explain different properties of light so first of all we start first property which we read in this chapter that is reflection of light reflection of light reflection of light so see what is reflection of light i have initially stated that if rays of light incident at the surface of any object then it bounces back in the same medium this phenomenon is called reflection of light some persons consider that the reflection of light take place only from mirror or shiny surfaces but this concept is not correct reflection of light takes place from every objects but there are two types of reflection if reflection takes place from shiny surfaces then it is called a regular reflection so reflection of light are mainly of two types first regular reflection regular reflection that is reflection from mirror or any shiny surfaces and second irregular reflection irregular reflection irregular reflection is also called diffuse reflection it is also called diffused reflection diffuse reflection for example reflection of light from our body the wall of our classroom from furniture of our classroom different trees etc these are example of diffuse reflection next thing is that laws of reflection so dear students it is very important it is asked many times that what are laws of reflection of light laws of reflection of light there are mainly two laws of reflection of light first suppose we have taken here a plane mirror and we draw a normal at any point if any ray of light a beam of light incidents at this point then with the same angle that is this angle angle between this ray is called incident ray incident ray this ray is called reflected ray this is called normal suppose this is point o so this is called the normal at the point of incidence the normal at the point of incidence and this angle is between incident ray and normal is called the angle of incidence so here angle i is called the angle of incidence angle of 
incidence and this angle that is angle between normal and reflected ray is called the angle of reflection the angle of reflection so after the knowledge of these things we can easily explain what are the laws of reflection first law first law of reflection indicates that the angle of incidence the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection that is i am not writing here a statement we have already read in different classes so the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection and the second law states that the incident ray the incident ray the normal at the point of incidence and the reflected ray all lie in the same plane so this is very important with the point of our knowledge and also for our examination now i am giving you some assignment homework right first right what are the properties of light what are the properties of light and second right the laws of reflection of light thus dear students i am concluding my first lesson now go through the lesson two times three times try to understand it and after understanding you try to write these things yourself as i have learned that if you are able to write the learned topic yourself then suppose you have learned something okay thank you very much